got a uh, wire wheel here. Um, I've got three different sizes. Technically, I've got some tools for the Dremel and stuff if I get uh, into more detailed areas. Right now, I'm going to try to hit the, uh, the larger areas and uh, finish up the detail work in the engine bed. We'll hit the, the frame rails and stuff that aren't painted right now. Um, might come back later with um, more detail work uh, later on. So the uh, driver's side fender uh, frame rail here was rusted significantly more than the passenger side. Um, same thing with dirt and grime for whatever reason. Um, later on, this uh, video was filmed on uh, April 18th, 2019. It's currently 5.30, uh, uh, May 30th. So um, the, uh, whenever I was cleaning out the fender, the driver's side fender, the black uh, road grime oil buildup that you see there was significantly worse on the uh, driver's side than the passenger side for whatever reason. Um, not a lot of rust under the, the black uh, buildup. Luckily, I guess it, it was uh, protection uh, against the, the salt and ice, water, etc. So um, I was pretty happy that when I cleaned the black stuff off, there wasn't... Uh, actually any additional rust under there that I was surprised at, kind of surprised at. Um, obviously there's some sealant, um, seam sealer and, and sealant uh, that uh, helps protect it there, but um, here on the underside it was uh, kind of rough, but uh, cleaned the top side up. Um, eventually I, I got the wire wheel so it strips all the paint off uh, where, there's, where there's rust um, under the paint. You can kind of see it bubble it up and once you hit it with the wire wheel it just strips it up. Um, front side was actually pretty clean. Um, you know, the, where, the, where the bumper mounts, obviously between the actual physical metal bumper and the uh, radiator support there had some rust. Um, at the very top, for whatever reason, at the very top of the, the bottom lower radiator support bar was some rust. And then the um, radiator bar um, here where you see it, uh, where the radiator sits in that cup right there, was really rusted. That was probably the worst part of the car. So that was, uh, you know, cleaned up pretty nicely. Still working on a little. So started taking, uh, you see a little bit of rust um, left here. Again, I'm going to use Evapo Rust. It's uh, obviously under here it looks worse, but uh, you know, just trying to knock the uh, the paint a lot of the rust off so that the Evapo Rust works quicker and more efficiently. Um, yeah, it takes uh, that light kind of rust off, but. Uh, where it's really thick and heavy um yeah it just takes several coatings and so i just uh you know knocking that off and then as they would say it's a rust inhibitor so really um just to uh knock any any remaining rust and prevent it from spreading or, or getting worse just making sure that i get down to bare metal you can see here um kind of where where the rust was again i don't think the uh, gopro does great at the uh macro level but uh, it definitely takes it down to bare metal um and obviously the evapor rust hasn't been applied yet so we'll uh, we'll get to it but uh you know like you said knocking the the heavy stuff off I, you know i've got primer and paint um so besides painting the car at some point um all this i just planned on primer and painting myself the engine bay is maybe a little bit more questionable but all this is under the fender so I've got, uh, you know, automotive grade uh, paint and primer, so I'll, I'll do all this myself. Um, so yeah. This is the uh, kind of second attempt on the frame rail. Uh, peeled some of this, uh, the uh, seam sealer back here. Um, I had a little bit of rust under it on spots. There were parts of it I hit with the wire brush that, that obviously just came up because it was no longer uh, really bonded with metal because it rusted underneath it. Um, so it felt pretty good that I got everything there. Um, same thing here. Anywhere where the metal was rusted underneath the, the uh, primer sealant, it had a pinhole or something and, and got uh, moisture to it. Um, you hit it with the wire brush wheel and it, it just comes off versus the stuff that uh, is still bonded. Hey guys, hope you enjoy watching the restoration of the Rusty Barnacle, uh, Integra Type R 98111. Um, please subscribe and uh, keep looking for updates. Thanks.